Thank you. Thank you, Lindsay. When I began this journey in Miami, I committed that I would campaign as I would serve, going everywhere, speaking to everyone, keeping my word, facing the issues without flinching, and staying true to what I believe. For the better, better part of a year, I've endeavored to do just exactly that. I have put forth a vision for America that includes all because our country deserves a president for everyone. The presidency is bigger than any one person and is certainly bigger than any candidate. This is not, uh, you know, we're, we're different in our country because our head of state is not above us, but because the head of state, the people that aspire to the presidency are part of the people. In a government of the people, by the people, and for the people, we elect a president like us, in perfect under God's watchful eye. I've had a front row seat to this office for most of my adult life. I've seen fallible men rise up to the challenges of our time with humility and clarity of purpose to make our nation safer, stronger, and freer. I firmly believe the American people must entrust this office to someone who understands that whoever holds it is a servant not the master, someone who will commit to that service with honor and decency. Our next president will lead an extraordinary country whose people have always made the improbable possible in big ways and small. Every day, Americans test the boundaries of freedom and achieve more than what they could have ever dreamed. But over the last seven years, our nation's bright light has become little more than a flicker. We have retreated from the world stage. The American values that have brought peace and opportunity are fading. That is not the America we know and love. America is a country that thinks big, acts boldly, and leads without apology. It will be up to the next president to restore that kind of leadership. I'm proud of the campaign that we've run to unify our country and to advocate conservative solutions that would give more Americans the opportunity to rise up and reach their God-given potential. But the people of Iowa and New Hampshire and South Carolina have spoken, and I really respect their decision. So tonight, I am suspending my campaign. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. congratulate my competitors that are remaining on the island <laughs> on their success for a race that has been hard fought, just as the contest for the presidency should be, because it is a tough job. In this campaign, I have stood my ground, refusing to bend to the political winds. We put forward detailed, innovative, conservative plans to address the mounting challenges that we face, because despite what you might have heard, ideas matter, policy matters. <laughs> I truly hope that, that uh, these ideas that we've laid out will serve as a blueprint for a generation of conservative leaders at every level of government so that we can take back our country. We laid out plans on everything from reforming our tax and regulatory system to reviving our economy to rebuilding our military and to fixing the VA once and for all. Yes. Finally. Finally, I am so grateful to Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina here for his steadfast support. And, and his amazing humor. Uh, he stole the line that I'm now saying, which is that he's become a friend for life. I thank all of the Jeb alumni, many of them are here, that have been going door to door all across the country who have put their lives on hold for this cause. And I want to thank my mom and brother who came here to South Carolina. America truly loves them and respects them, and so do I. I want to thank all my family. 2.0 is always back there in the back. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
And to my dad, who has served as an inspiration to me, he's the greatest man alive. And I, want to thank, I want to thank all the volunteers and supporters that I've met along this incredible journey. And to all the fellow grinders in our campaign, our staff, who never, ever, ever gave up. incredible life and for me public service has been the highlight of that life but no matter what the future holds here's the greatest safety landing if you can imagine tonight I'm gonna sleep with the best friend I have and the love of my life to be the father of three extraordinary children and, as you might know, four near-perfect grandchildren. <laughs> and I'll be blessed to say that I'm living in the greatest country the world has ever known. I remain optimistic and with the right kind of leadership that we all need to work to make sure happens, America's best days are ahead. With strong conservative leadership, Republicans can win the White House and we can get back to being in the ver verge of having the greatest time to be alive. And that's what I honestly believe, and I know you do as well. I look forward to working you to make that dream come true. I will do it as a private citizen, just as you are. Thank you for the opportunity to run for the greatest office on the face of the earth. I love you all. God bless you.